Three, two, one, blast off for India's Aditya L1 rocket, which set off on Saturday afternoon on a four-month journey to observe the sun's outermost layers. It makes us feel very proud. I think this is going to be one more step towards how ISRO is kind of uh, expanding and evolving. And ISRO, the Indian Space Research Organization, is indeed evolving. Just weeks ago, it became the first country to land on the lunar south pole. Blast off for India's latest space mission. Launched from the eastern coast of the Indian island of Sri Harakota, Aditya L1 is off. On a one and a half million kilometer quest to study the sun's outer layers. It has begun a four month journey towards the sun. The rocket will study solar winds, which can cause disturbances here on Earth. The mission follows India's successful moon landing last week. Three, two, one, zero. A successful blast-off for India's first ever solar mission on a voyage to decode the mysteries of our closest star. The craft, called Aditya L1, meaning the sun in Hindi, now traveling to the observation point 1.5 million kilometers away. For a moon landing, India's space agency has now launched a rocket to study the sun. Scientists cheered during the Indian Space Research Organization's broadcast of the successful launch. The mission aims to study solar winds that create auroras, commonly known as the northern or southern lights. Scientists also hope to learn more about the effect of solar radiation on the thousands of satellites in orbit. Longer term, they say data collected can help them better understand the sun's impact on Earth's climate patterns. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi is pushing for the country's space missions to play a larger role on the world stage, which is currently dominated by the U.S. and China. A successful blast-off for India's first ever solar mission on a voyage to decode the mysteries of our closest star. The craft, called Aditya L1, meaning the sun in Hindi, now traveling to the observation point 1.5 million kilometers away. For its recent successful moon landing, India's space agency has launched a rocket to study the sun. It's the country's first such mission, which aims to study solar winds that can cause disturbances on Earth, commonly seen as auroras. Scientists clapped during the Indian Space Research Organization's live broadcast as a rocket left a trail of smoke and fire in its wake on Saturday. India's space agency later said on the social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter, that the satellite was now in orbit. Named after the Hindi word for the sun, the Aditya L1 spacecraft took flight barely a week after India beat Russia to become the first country to land on the south pole of the moon. While Russia had a more powerful rocket, India's Chandrayaan-3 outendured the Lunar 25 to execute a textbook landing. The Aditya L1 is designed to travel 930,000 miles over four months, far short of the sun, which is around 93 million miles from Earth. It's meant to stop its journey in a kind of parking lot in space called a Lagrange point. Objects tend to stay put there because of balancing gravitational forces, which reduce a spacecraft's fuel consumption. Scientists hope to learn more about the effects of solar radiation on the thousands of satellites in orbit. ISRO scientists also say that longer term, data from the mission could help better understand the sun's impact on Earth's climate patterns and the origins of solar wind, the stream of particles that flow from the sun through the solar system. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is pushing for India's space missions to play a larger role on a world stage dominated by the United States and China. The country has privatized space launches and is looking to open the sector to foreign investment as it targets a five-fold increase in its share of the global launch market within the next decade. Its first observation mission to study the sun. Large crowds gathered to watch the rocket carrying the Aditya L1 satellite blast off from the Sri Harikota Space Centre in the southern state of Andhra Pradesh. Now, the probe aims to work out what drives space weather and gather a better understanding of the dynamics of solar wind. Its 1.5 million kilometres orbit around the Earth will give it a clear view of our nearest star. And those pictures 
of Aditya launching from its space station a little bit earlier on. We to study the sun, the Aditya L1 spacecraft will travel to the outermost part of the sun's orbit. Its aim is to record data that will help scientists to understand how massive explosions of solar gases happen and how they impact the Earth. The mission is due to take around five years. Ten, nine, eight, seven... After making lunar history, India's space agency is not resting on its laurels. Zero. Hundreds of thousands watched a live feed as the country's first solar mission blasted off. Magnificent liftoff of PSLV C-57 with Aditya L1 on board. The Aditya L1 probe will allow scientists to monitor the sun's surface and the atmosphere around it, as well as providing data about the weather in space. 